Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how we make our puppy mush for our puppies. They are four weeks old today actually. So we started giving them puppy mush right between three and a half and four weeks. It would have been like three days ago we started the puppy mush. So they're definitely eating it very well right now. But the first time we gave them, they dug right in. I could tell they were hungry and needed more than just mommy's milk. So. Uh, there wasn't an issue there, but I'll kind of go over that more once I put their food in there and I'll show you kind of how we got them accustomed to eating that. But for now, we are going to mix up our puppy mush. And how we do that is I use this Hamilton Beach food processor. I used it for baby food when I was making baby food, uh, homemade baby food for my babies. So it's now just, I just use it to make puppy food. Now we used it with our last litter and I'm going to use it again. It works well. Um, so pretty much all I'm going to do here is take my top container and fill this with my dry dog slash puppy food that we use. We use Victor High Pro Plus. It's a dog and puppy food. It's high in protein so you can use it for either. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to fill this with my dry food. Alright, so I got my food processor container all filled up there is four cups of puppy food in here uh, i do about two at a time uh, once they start getting older you know i'll have to feed them a little more we have 12 puppies so i usually do between one and two cups depending uh two seems to be a little much for now and mama usually just finishes it off but all right so i got that clicked in here and i'm going to close this up here Okay, got my dry food in here. This is going to be really loud, so. It be really loud. All right. It be really loud. Yep, get ready. It's going to be really loud. So pretty much this is just going to put it into crumbles. It's going to be a real thin um, dog food. Um, trying to think of the word I want to use. Like a powder. It's going to pretty much put it in a powder. <laughs> show you this here so pretty much just put it it into a powder form there so that's what we're shooting for uh, and then I'll show you here how we put it in our pans and give it to the puppies all right so I'm just gonna use a 9 by 13 pan I got two 9 by 13 pans got them a dollar general I think they were like seven dollars a piece uh, so that's what we're gonna use and I'm gonna take my blade out here and do that. Um, so I'm just going to make one pan for now. I was doing two pans, but it just seemed like it was too much and they all favored the one pan anyway. So I'm just going to dump a little bit of this in. And if you feel like there's still chunks in it, you can run it longer through the processor. There's a couple little chunks in here, but like I said, this is their third day, so I'm not going to be too concerned about it we're gonna make it nice and soft anyway um, but for the first time you want to make sure it's shredded up really well um, so I'm just gonna put some of that on the bottom there I'm gonna save the rest of this for other meals all right now that I got my mush food processed and crumbled up into a powder I'm going to put some of my, I just use this Nursol, it's for puppy supplementing, um, supplementing in case the mom isn't able to keep up with all of them. I like to use this in Scarlet, our mom's water, just to give her a boost for when she's feeding. I always put some in her water every morning. Um, and I'm going to add it in here as well. I'm going to just put, I put a little bit in this cup and then I'm going to get some warm water here and just mix that around this just helps give it flavor to what they're used to 
once they start getting older, um, you know, I'll probably just do water and this will obviously be a thicker, thicker texture. Um, as they get older, you want to keep making this thicker and thicker. So adding less and less water, but for at first you really want it to be milky, uh, kind of like a baby food texture, very thin, uh, and milky slash watery. All right. So I got some warm water here and I'm just going to mix that in here with my formula and then I'm just going to dump this over top of the food and this really will soak into the food a lot so when you put this in it will look super watery but if you let it sit for five minutes or so it'll thicken up so I'm just going to add that for now I still have a little bit left I'm going to add that for now and kind of squash it around and I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes and come back to it and see if I need to add any more milk all right, so I let my mixture set for a while just to make sure it's the right consistency I wanted. Um, like I said, you know, five, 10 minutes, let it sit. Once they get a little older, it's not as much of a concern. Um, but yeah, especially the first time, you wanna make sure that it's not gonna thicken up too much. So this is good for, for us. Puppies already know it's coming. Um, so like I said, this is their third time getting puppy mush. So they kind of know what's going on. But honestly, the first time, um, if they don't seem too interested in it or know what to do with it, just stick their front paws in it. That really helps them like feel it and dig in. Um, but like I said, these puppies were to the point where mama wasn't, you know, enough for them. And they were old enough to get uh, the puppy mush. So they just dug right in, no problem. I had no issues at all. So as you can see, they're all piling in there. Once they start eating more, I will switch to two pans just so they have more room, but it seems like they take turns pretty well. A couple of them eat and then they'll go fall asleep and then the other ones are still hungry. They'll go finish it off. But I do recommend not cleaning out your box right before you feed them because it does get mushy uh messy so i like to lay a blanket down or a puppy pad or something down just so it doesn't get their box all messy because uh, they do tend to make messes especially when they're stepping on it so we'll clean out the box here when they're done Yep, they're digging in, they're loving it. Like I said, as the days pass by, you can keep making it thicker and thicker until you eventually just get to dry kibble. But that's about it. Uh, if you wanna make it easier on yourself, you can process you know, a lot ahead of time. So you don't have to worry about doing it every day. I usually do mine just once a day, but you could easily get a container to store it in. Uh, then you don't have to mix it up every single day. But it's as easy as that. Puppies are still drinking some milk from mom. They do have teeth though. So mom's starting to not enjoy laying down as much for them. But she's still, she still lays down for them if I make her. Um, but this makes it a little easier on mom. They're not quite as hungry. They don't need to eat quite as often. So that's about it. If you have any questions, you can drop it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can for you. But that's all for the process of weaning your puppies and making your puppy mush. Don't forget to subscribe to our page and hope you guys all have a good evening. <laughs> Briar's loving on the puppies, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>